I'm John Goliatino. I'm Abigail Adams. I'm Bob Potsner. I'm Risa Minikin. And I'm Doris Hanley. Welcome to 30 Minutes. Welcome to Lighter and Brighter Wellness on 30 Minutes. My name is Susan Alstrom and I am your host for today. I am here today with my friend and colleague, Deborah Murray. Uh, Deborah is a certified health coach and graduate of the Institute of Integrative Nutrition and a member of the International Association for Health Coaches. Additionally, she holds a certification in plant-based nutrition through Cornell University, is a Yoga Alliance certified teacher, as well as a personal trainer a Tai Chi instructor, and she holds a black belt in Taekwondo. So welcome to Lighter and Brighter Wellness, Deb. Hi, thank you, Susan. Thank you so much for being here today. I uh, invited Deb on the show today because we have been working together. Um, I have been helping her using EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, which is a method of helping to calm the mind and body for greater health and well being. I am a certified EFT practitioner and I have been using this technique in my coaching practice. And it has been very, uh, very beneficial to uh, during this time, during this time of the pandemic when. Uh, our general uh, stress level, anxiety level is um, sort of uh, off the charts for a lot of people. But Deb um, had been uh, dealing with um, an issue that affected both her health and her well being um, that was becoming a little more challenging for her or concerning for her. And so we did the EFT practice and work through some of the physical symptoms and associated uh, emotional symptoms that came from this. And Deb was uh, kind enough to say that she would share her experience today. And uh, we'd also like to do a demonstration of this uh, technique, which is most often referred to as tapping, and uh, then share it with our viewers so that you too can benefit from this very simple, easy to do self-care method. So Deb, the, yes. yes, so we had, you had been sharing with me that you, um, in your work at the assisted living where you were working, you've been working the last several years and over time, the the stress that, that was both from the job and just in general, you were, um, you had uh, a physical issue that came up that was concerning to you. Uh, can you share a little bit about that? And um, when we tapped, how that was helpful to you? Sure, Susan. Um, it, I've been at this one location for six years. And, um, you know, through the years, um, I think because you I became so much more ingrained and in, in, involved in many of these uh, residents' life, you know, because it, it's hard because you kind of take on a lot of emotion and just changes and shifts in business. It, it became, I, I think I was holding so much um, in my body that I didn't realize. And it was creating some issues with circulation, um, my extremities, hands and feet, especially. Um, so when the, pandemic happened, I had been furloughed. And upon returning uh, after six, seven weeks, I believe it was, um, realized that there had to be a change. And there was um, uh, a decision as well in the role I had that because of what I was doing in this continual care retirement community, that the position would then be ended for lack of um, uh, traffic and, and uh, to this building that in particular, I was working and running a wellness operation 
And um, with a lot of the lockdown and people not coming out, there was just a multitude of reasons why it went into this decision. So I've transitioned now to not working, um, but it was, it was good. I mean, up until, you know, that point, this last year of working there, I really was feeling more and more this restriction in my body. And I think it was, again, it was holding in a lot of um, emotions and, um, you know, taking on a lot of emotions from so many of the residents that I love and uh, really became friends with. But it also becomes um, heavy in a sense, dealing with older people, issues in life, health uh, problems and um, emotional and family. And I'm not a trained psychologist and I don't, you know, I, I, I really feel like I kind of, as an empath, I take on some of that. So ultimately, I think I was craving a lot of stress in my body, which was then manifesting in these symptoms of lack of a lot of circulation. So, yes, yeah, so many of us are like you um, with so many changes and so much uncertainty. It's, it's affecting uh, all of us in different ways. But but changes in your day to day routine and employment, et cetera, is definitely something that that creates a lot of a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. But for you, Deb, I know that you, I mean, with your background, and I know you had started working with the seniors um, as a yoga coach and as a health a practitioner, um, mm -hmm. providing support to them. So clearly you're very aware of your, um, how your body responds in situations like this and how um, these types of um, exercises, practices and, and nutrition and other wellness approaches can be beneficial. But when we were um, we were talking and, and you started to share about how this had become a concern, this is said, this circulation or lack of, you know, the coldness in your hands, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. We we just did some tapping and um, it seemed to me that it it kind of helped to both ease the um you know the worry about that because that that clearly was something that's unusual and it was a new development and um so i i think i know that there was some worry around this physical ailment and and what was happening but um i think as you suggested when we started to uh do the work and and talk through and do the practice of of the tapping it helped to bring some some clarity, which is what often happens with this technique. The, the client gets a, um, a chance to relax, uh, the body and the mind relaxes, and, and that then allows our, basically our thinking brain to check in uh, and, and you were able to get a little more insight about um, how, much, how much stress this was causing or how, um, what, what maybe what to do about what next step to take um, when you had this? I, I would definitely jump in there and and, and say that it was through um, a few of the tapping sessions with you that I, I I realized what was actually happening. I don't think I had, even though I can be aware of what is happening in my body, and you you um, you know done breathing techniques, and mindfulness, and present moment techniques. It's still. It, it was still very um, revealing to me when I did tapping sessions with you and it honed in exactly focused on this fact that, you know, I, I am holding that much stress and really didn't have that indication on my own without going through the process of doing some tapping with you. And it, it absolutely relieved. Um, I think it might, it, Kind of maybe loosened up my brain in a sense, yeah. <laughs> you know, like cognitively, you know, recognize that. Oh my gosh, you know, I, I am. There's so much I'm doing to myself in this, and I need to let go. Yeah. So it is. Um, I mean, I'm I'm laughing with you, but I. It is. I think all of us have been kind of in this, and I've talked about this before on the show. We've been in this sort of survival mode, just kind of get 
get on track, stay on track, you know, try and head down, continue to move forward and, um, you know, move through all the changes and the news and, and um, everything that is impacting our lives that we tend to kind of tighten up and just, you know, kind of plow through the storm. And that can absolutely have um, a, a detrimental effect on our, both our, our health, but our uh, immunity, our immune system and create other, other challenges that um, for you, for instance, it seems to have manifested in a, a physical ailment that, um, became worrisome. Um, I think that, uh, you know, the fact that we were able to take time out, that's the first self-care, you know, step that anyone yeah. needs to do yeah. is to, on a regular basis, take a little bit of time, you know, even several times a day can be extremely helpful to just sit and put your feet on the floor and, take a few deep breaths and, and get centered and uh, quiet, quiet yourself down. That's one, one practice for greater health and, um, and to, to help regulate our, our, our fight flight response, our stress response. But yes, with the tapping, I was really pleased that, that we were also able to go a little bit deeper without, you know, uh, spending a lot of time even and mm -hmm. just have a chance to kind of, um, you know, calm that, that stress response. And then there were insights that came and, and, uh, shifts that came, as we say, that, that seemed to be, um, really help you move forward a little bit. Absolutely. And I didn't, you know, I've read books on how emotions and traumas can stay in the body. And I think that's where it becomes um, a really useful tool for the tapping because um, th those emotions are deep within tissues in the body. And it just, I, I think tapping is like nothing else that I've, tr I've done or taught or learned about. It's some of, um, some of the ways to, um, bring about the relaxation and the parasympathetic system in the body. Mine has usually been through breathing uh, in yoga. That's, that's what we do to um, calm the system, but the tapping, you know, with the, the points on the body, um, it, it, it works very well. It worked differently in a different technique. And it also brought me a lot more resolve because it can be feeling a sense of defeated if you know you're not you're trying to do things or to, you're, uh, to change a situation um and it made me actually feel a little more fortified and just you know i i have got this i'm not going to let this stop me or get me down or um it it, it was a really uh supportive tool for my emotions no i really i'm, I'm so pleased it was it was really yeah. um it was wonderful to be able to help you with that. And, you know, to your point, you mentioned again, the breathing, um, you know, breathing is, is a really incredible, um, you know, we start life with the breath. It's an essential thing. And when we're stressed and uptight, we tend to hold our breath. You know, when we, um, we have that natural reflex, when we get scared, we'll hold our breath. And so we, the more we can be aware, you know, day to day these days of how we are breathing and if we are breathing deeply we can we can definitely um help our health and well-being so deb you said that you were willing to uh help me demonstrate this tapping technique i'd be happy to okay so that we can um you know, I can share it with others. It's sort of okay. a passion of mine to get this out there because it's something that is free. It's everybody has access to, it can be done anytime, anywhere, and uh, and it feels good. So mm -hmm. anything that Absolutely. can help <laughs> help people during this time is, is something that I I wanna be I wanna be part of. So um what uh what we do when we tap is we uh, actually tap on meridian points in the body. The meridian points are acupressure points 
Um, if you're familiar with acupuncture, these are the points that um, are integral to that healing system. And this type of um, technique or the, the theory behind meridians has been around for centuries. Right. And the meridians are an energy system in the body like uh, like our circulatory system, like our um, neurological system. And when these uh, meridians kind of get stuck, then we can manifest, you know, um, mental, physical, or emotional uh, illness or challenges. So what we're doing is we're basically telling the body that it's safe when we stimulate these points. And we're telling the body, uh, the mind and body that, um, that it can relax. So it actually, studies have shown that tapping does lower cortisol levels. It helps to essentially calm that fight flight section of the brain, calm the amygdala. And so when we tap, we begin, um, the standard protocol is to begin with a thought in mind about something that is bothering us or something that is uh, top of mind in terms of uh, what's on our mind. And it can be as simple as, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't feel like mowing the lawn because it's too hot out there um, to uh, something much more significantly uh, emotionally trying. Tapping actually works extremely well. Uh, studies have shown with PTSD. And so in this case, we are just going to use this technique to help calm ourselves a little bit this afternoon in light of all that's going on. And the heat, the high heat in this area uh, does not help when you're under stress and, and not feeling your best. But in any case, we start on the side of the hand. That's the first place where we tap and we think about this, this, uh, topic or this thought that's bothering us. And then we move from there to the inside of the eyebrow. That's the first meridian point. And then the side of the eyebrow, right on the bone on the outside of the eye. And then under the eye on the bone, right underneath the eye. Then under the nose, then under the lip. And then right here under the collarbone, just uh, just uh, right around where that soft spot is. And then under the arm where a bra strap might be. And then the top of the head. So, and that's it. And the wonderful thing about it is it can be done with or without words. You can do it, as I said, anywhere, anytime. It can, uh, you can just find your favorite place to tap. I actually particularly like this spot. It makes me feel good. You know, if I'm driving, I might do this if I'm late for work and I'm trying to settle down a little bit or I've just gotten off the phone and um, uh, with someone who's kind of gotten me a little riled up, I can tap like this and calm down a bit. Okay. But so for this purpose, um, if you would, Deb, be my echo, and we'll demonstrate how tapping works with a practitioner in a, a more um, therapeutic or, or formal setting. Um, mm -hmm. If you could give me a few words that come to mind in terms of where you're at today, in terms of what's going on um, in your life or in the world, in terms relative to this, uh, this very challenging situation we are in. We'll try and tap to that, um, the feelings that you're having and then others can tap along with us and hopefully they too will have what we call borrowed benefits. They, you, the viewers um, can tap along with us and okay. follow along and hopefully they can benefit as well. So. Um, what comes to mind? For me, I think it is the is feeling a lack of being sort of grounded um, because I think there's just this undercurrent all the time, and 
it's so there is anxiety about where the future's going but also not just not feeling grounded okay all right all right let's just start with that so okay. start on the side of the hand and i will say a phrase and then if you would repeat after me like an echo we'll just um do a few rounds with that and what we do with tapping is we we tend to use a scale of one to ten to check in with um you know on a scale of one to ten ten being the most intense and um one or zero actually being not at all where would you put that that feeling today deb um i would put it at six or seven okay six or seven and this just helps us get a gauge after the fact to see if we have in fact made some uh -huh. improvement so okay. all right yeah. so even though i'm feeling rather ungrounded even though i'm feeling rather ungrounded i feel a little unsettled i feel a little unsettled i'm okay i'm still okay even though there's so much uncertainty even though there's so much uncertainty and anxiety about the future and anxiety about the future i'm okay i'm okay even though all of this makes me feel ungrounded even though all this makes me feel ungrounded i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty and it makes me feel a little unsettled and it makes me feel a little unsettled i know i'm okay I know I'm okay. Okay, then we move to this point on the inside of the eye. Feeling ungrounded. Feeling ungrounded. And then the side of the eye, ungrounded. And hopefully ungrounded. people, uh, please tap along. If you're watching, you can tap along and hopefully gain some benefit. And we go under the eye. So much uncertainty. So much uncertainty. And under the nose. Ungrounded. Ungrounded. Under the lip. Anxiety about the future. Anxiety about the future. Under the collarbone. All this uncertainty. All this uncertainty. Under the arm. All of these changes. All of these changes. The top of the head. Feeling ungrounded. Feeling ungrounded. Inside of the eye, ungrounded, ungrounded. In the side of the eye, uncertain, uncertain. Under the eye, anxious, anxious. Under the nose. It's confusing. It's confusing. Under the lip. Feeling ungrounded. Feeling ungrounded. The collarbone. Feeling anxious. Feeling anxious. Under the arm, uncertainty. Uncertainty. Top of the head, ungrounded. Ungrounded. 
Okay, let's take a minute and take a breath. It's kind of like this warmth of openness comes through. So there was. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. No, just realizing um, too, partway through that. It, I kind of opened up and took a big deeper, a deeper breath than I okay. have. That's actually a very common uh, result from tapping. And that is reason alone to do tapping periodically throughout the day. Just a couple mm -hmm. of rounds like that. Again, relaxes the muscles and relaxes that parasympathetic nervous system and allows us to take a deeper breath which means we're getting more oxygen to the brain, more oxygen to our entire system. And yes. we then uh, are, are basically um, obviously better able to think and better able to um, uh, respond to any, any threats, whether they're virus or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, how about that number, Deb? Did you feel like that number came down at all from us? I, I do. I find this technique super effective. And I, I think the more that you do it, your body kind of takes those cues and there's just a, a more, um, more, I think, immediate response to relaxation through it. And, and some of these points, too, I always feel like at certain times when I have tapped, um, and, and it doesn't happen all the time, but you know, with you, I feel like some areas just kind of vibrate differently. You pick up on sort of a vibration um, in the body, which is really cool. Yeah, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Deb, for doing that with us today. And um, My pleasure. Wanna, yes, thank you. And for sharing your experience with this method. Um, and I want to let people know that if they would like some more information about EFT tapping or they would like um, to talk a little bit more, I can uh, walk through it with you. I'm happy to uh, share this with you or do one on one sessions. Uh, you can reach me at info at lighter and brighter wellness dot com or visit my website or Facebook page at lighterandbrighterwellness.com. Thank you and be well. And thanks again, Deb. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. Yes, take care. Thank you.